So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um... Here, take it. In the Master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. The Gazing Eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his, so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. But why? You'll see. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. And so the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the Master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, 
was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lu Xu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace.
Master Xehanort is the only one I could still count on. You must be Terra. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so he'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. <laughs> You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. Better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao. There's no way it's true. But no harm in looking. Master Xehanort! The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. Huh. If I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good. What are you doing, Tara? Fight! But, Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! So much for the bluff. Terra. Hey, you old coot! You said I wouldn't get hurt. I didn't sign up to be collateral damage. No way, as if. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. <laughs> I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. I'm just lucky he didn't steal my heart like Princess, whatever it was. <laughs> that would have ruined my week for sure. 
Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... He's not the one who stole her heart? Hm. How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. Uh. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go <laughs> first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. Yeah. What? Right this way. Young man, what ails you? Can you speak? Tell me your name. Xehanort. Xehanort. <laughs> Quickly, get him to the castle. You can count on me. Dylan, get those for me. Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. Hey, you're not Terra. Just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back. Is this how you wanted it? 
Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> my name... is Ansem. Zaxian! Zaxian! Right here. What is it? Where is Lord Xemnas? His usual spot. The Chamber of Repose? Yes. Go and see for yourself. That isn't funny! I suppose I have no choice but to wait. But the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What to do? Why is he never around when I need him? It's almost as if he knows I'm looking for him. No. You know, I don't like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten, or were you procrastinating? As if. I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. And since I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Xemnas's secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key-shaped swords appeared and unleashed a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Xemnas, yeah. I mean, Xehanort, was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal and build a room in the back. Ever since then, he holds himself up in that room when he can and he talks to someone. But who? For all I know, he's the only one in that room. Need I repeat myself about eavesdropping? Not eavesdropping. Couldn't hear what they were saying. Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I know I would very much like to focus on my own duties. As you should with yours. For we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only 11 of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What new facility? Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place, anyway? He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend.
This place is so much nicer. Without the loudmouths. Loudmouths? Those bossy co-workers sent to Castle Oblivion. Oh. Well, I suppose it's too bad you and Poppet didn't get to spend a little more quality time with him. Poppet? I'm talking about Shion, kiddo. Kiddo? Roxas, get to work. Is it true, then, about Castle Oblivion? That's none of your concern. And Axel? Gone. He may have disappeared for good. What? Hey, what happens when Heartless are destroyed? The hearts remain. And then, those hearts gather together to form the great Kingdom Hearts. Then, can you tell me what remains if a nobody is destroyed? What's there to leave behind? We're not even supposed to be in the first place. And the members at Castle Oblivion, where'd they go? Nothing's left of them. In which case, I'll never see them again? That's right. You coming? Huh? Oh, yeah. <sighs> What's happening? The time has arrived. And at long last, we see before us the great collection of hearts. Hearts full of rage, hate, sadness, and bliss. Shining down upon us is the crystallization of all hearts. Kingdom hearts. There, in the sky, hangs the promise of a new world. My friends, let us gain further power to conquer the human heart and claim it as our own. Let us remember why we are here and what we hope to achieve. Hearts shall be gathered and be made our own. Hearts shall never again have power over us. I sent Axel to Castle Oblivion last night to help expedite the matter we spoke of. I also instructed him to clear out our facilities there. He should return soon. And what of Namine? Still missing, sir. Ha <laughs> ha! Where or where could she be? Why, Zigbar. It 
almost sounds as though you know. <laughs> Continue. Somebody accessed our main computer without authorization. And you expect us to believe you really don't know who it was. As if. Little Poppet is turning into a problem. Nonsense. I see no problem whatsoever. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, no. Apparently you don't. Something you find amusing? Ah, the things you hear from a guy with no heart. No matter what unfolds, our plans remain unchanged. Axel, Roxas, and Shion will play the respective roles that Kingdom Hearts has given them. But sir, Shion... Leave it be. How can you not see how perfect this is? In truth, this is more than perfect. Shion is marching right into the arms of destiny, but to destiny's own time. We need not take any more steps. All we must do is watch with caution and patience. Huh? You need something? Well, um... Something's wrong with Roxas. You don't know why, do you? He says the Keyblade wears him out when he goes to use it. And then today, I was fighting the same way Roxas does. You would know more about Roxas than I do by now. What do you mean? <sighs> well... What do you think, Shion? I'm not sure. Not sure, huh? Is that because you're a puppet? <gasps> you do know that. You're a replica, whose original purpose was to copy Roxas's powers. So if you see Roxas's powers getting weaker, while your powers are getting stronger, it could be that you're robbing Roxas of his powers more than you ought to be. What can I... Then what should I do? You gotta think for yourself. Cause I know you're not just a puppet. We're best friends. You, me, and Roxas, that is. Got it memorized? Sure. Can I ask you just one other thing? What's that? I saw a boy today who looks just like Roxas. <sighs> is he... who I think he is? Sora has a pretty powerful effect on her, is all I'm saying. Yes. It was not supposed to gain a mind of its own nor become the person we see. But in the end, it only proves that the puppet is the more worthy vessel. The time has come. Syx, are the devices ready? In a matter of days. Good. And what of Roxas? Both of them have connections to Sora, but we only need one of them under our thumb. Whether Shion takes from Roxas the rest of what he has to give, 
or whether he destroys her first and takes back what is his, there is no change to our plans. No matter how, Sora's power will belong to us. <laughs> what a blast from the past! Shion, stop! Of all the faces, why do I look at her and see yours? Why is it that you always have to glare at me like that? Shut up! Sorry, Axel. What are you doing? Please, let me go. I have to do this or else... Just look. Uh. Please, Axel. You have to take care of Roxas. But... You'd be... Please! Thank you, Axel. Explain yourself, Axel. The old man needs to get his eye checked. She just got away. I'll give him that. Can't toss the blame around. And now we're left with the one we can't use. Did something happen? Where's she on? She flew the coop! Flamesylocks here couldn't trouble himself to clip her wings. Huh? What does he mean, Axel? Your friend sat there sucking his thumb while Shion walked right off. I'm going back to my room. Shion has disappeared yet again. Do we know where she is headed? It, not she, is a replica. Merely a puppet. A puppet? What does that mean, exactly? A puppet is a puppet. Talking about the replica program, isn't it obvious? The what -ka? Perhaps you care to enlighten us about this pet project of yours. The purpose was to take a piece of the Keyblade Wielder's memory and copy it, thus making his powers our own. This was one of several projects of ours being undertaken at Castle Oblivion. However, our efforts were severely derailed by Vexen's untimely demise. Needless to say, losing Vexen was not part of our plans. We were also caught off guard when this particular replica we called Shion formed an identity of its own. No one at Castle Oblivion ever reported any instance where a replica formed its own identity. Do you concur, Axel? Mm. Whatever the puppet may decide to do, we can be certain it will no longer have an impact on our plans. Still, it knows our secrets. We need to shorten the leash, perhaps even tighten it. What exactly do you- Axel, the onus is on you to capture and bring back Shion. The escape was on your watch. I will overlook any nicks or scratches. Just ensure she still functions on arrival. 
Why would you allow a deserter back? We should simply eradicate her. It is not a deserter. It is just a flawed specimen that has wandered out. Are we clear, Axel? Dismissed. Bring her back alive. Is she a madness? All this time, I've been talking to a puppet. So now, we just sweep it up, huh? As if. If only the whispers at the top carried to the bottom. Huh. Axel, those orders were absolute. <laughs> Still here, Roxas? Proceed with your mission. She owns. She's not a puppet. A puppet couldn't be part of the organization. Just count the seats here. We have and always will be. Thirteen. Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <sighs> <laughs> That's right! You used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! Lux, he got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He is nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. 
I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. Sora knows the truth now. The more heartless that he defeats, the closer he is to becoming our perfect puppet. This new knowledge will make him that much harder to control. What does it matter, really? Whatever his circumstances, Sora has never been able to help himself from saving people from the heartless. It's what his pure little heart wants. There. The dice have been cast. Things are in motion. He can't stop this. Nothing is set in stone. If the dice aren't in your favor, it will share Demix's fate. The fun is in not knowing, isn't it? What is the point of betting on something if you already know the outcome? Are you sure that defeating him won't derail the organization's plan? If he is to die so easily, he is of no use to us. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's not in my nature to hold back. Wait! Riku? Ah? Oh? No, never heard of him. The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute. How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. Then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart. And that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. Just 
it off! What's going on? Have you been a good boy? Show yourself! Oh, it sounds like you haven't. Sora! Roxas! Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Here he comes! Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey! Hold on! Sora! It's time! That was more difficult than I thought. But at least things are on track. Lord Xemnas is nowhere to be seen, so that means... The party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man, does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business. The way he can see in the mines. And it doesn't help that no one knows what it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led wherever it is I am destined to go. Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, which poor soul will it be? Wait, isn't this...? Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So, I've got to be awake again, and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. Let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. 
We brought you to this place. Hijacked your little slumber party before it started. And ever since, we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Uh, the man in the robe. And so that guy in the black coat. And Xemnas. Oh. Bingo. You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Robe Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. Pleasant dreams, kiddo. <sighs> Whoopsie daisy. Wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No, that wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh. Thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel, and Roxas, and Namine, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. <gasps> Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating Heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort 
formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you, aren't you scared of just turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! However, through weakness of body, weakness of will, or weakness of trust, most of the original members we had chosen for the organization were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. <sighs> we have learned of the heart's folly, and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no pain. We see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me. And I don't care. I'm proud to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> my friends, they are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. <sighs> Fine. See where your power gets you here. Semnus, he's all yours. Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. Huh? Master Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <laughs> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, when I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into 20 pieces. Seven of light and 13 of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness never to surface again. 
I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade. But the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then? Your mistakes? Change the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, uh, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. <laughs> Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that six. Then the seventh would be... That means the 13 Seekers of Darkness. Yes, little king, perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! But first, the thirteen darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest! Uh, no! Sora! Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh, no! Uh, uh. Axel, please. The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. What now, you old coot? Our time is up! Isa. Wow. 
Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... <sighs> Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Supposed to do that? I think so. <laughs> Goofy, Donald, you saved us. We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the seven and thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together! Us. It's nothing. That's what these are for. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh wow, very nice. Oh marks. No organization. You're Zigbar. Ah, uh, all this altruism is giving me the warm and fuzzies. So then, does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? Just say what you mean. Oh, but I did, though. No good will ever come from putting other people first. I was able to save Meg's life because I was ready to risk my own. Because you've got friends in high places, you mean. Tricks like that don't fly for your average Joe. What do you know? You weren't even there. If you were, you'd admire Herc's courage. I don't admire one guy leaping into danger if it means someone else might have to jump in to save him. You're all just lining up to lose out. Dooming others to take the fall with you. Oh. And you can spare me the usual party line. Yes, hearts are powerful when they're connected. But if you put too much of that power in one place, some of those hearts might end up breaking. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined to yours. Why would I ever take advice from you? As if. You don't have any choice but to follow this sweet little trail of breadcrumbs. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. You're so close! <laughs> <laughs> heart's Hearts breaking? Whose hearts? Sora, don't let him bother you. He's just trying to get under your skin because he thinks he can. But we'll prove him wrong. We'll show him that our sacrifices haven't been for nothing. You're right. Mm-hmm. Besides, we're already proof enough. We're a team. When we're together, we can do anything. Yeah. What reward? Yeah, you. Are you sure this box with the book of prophecies is for reals? Yeah, I think that dig batted black was pulling your leg. Be quiet and dig, you imbecile. I must find that book of prophecies and make it my own. His was the only clue we have. We cannot afford to dismiss it without a thorough investigation. 
I'm just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna get us any closer to... Whoa! What is it? Have you found something? Show it to me at once, fool! Yes, sir, easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Leave it. What? After all that digging? That is not the box which I desire. We are finished with this world. Come. No. May your heart... Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes. Just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. The first six members of the original organization were all apprentices to Ansem the Wise, and the seventh and eighth members joined thereafter. The thirteenth member was Roxas, a Keyblade wielder. So, what about you? How do you suppose I chose numbers nine through twelve? Because our hearts are uber-powerful. Wrong. You have been brought together for another purpose. What? So that we can rot away on the bottom rung? Ugh. Urine too? What is this organization rehash? I happen to play an important role. No one benched me. You were listening? So not cool? One must hold one's cards as long as necessary. What important role? That stupid box that Zigbar claims is real, but won't tell us a thing about? You'll just have to ask Zigbar that. Now then, Semnus. What is this purpose? You didn't invite us back for old time's sake. You four are going to reveal your greatest secret. The ancient Keyblade legacy that slumbers within you. Hmm? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> I cannot let the Chosen catch wind of this, understand? Oh, I see. It's because I got benched. I got benched too! What? Hey, <laughs> quiet! <clears throat> okay, man, look. Real talk, backstabbing those guys would be stupid. If they find out, we are yesterday's toast. I mean, what's in it for me? Forgiveness. Huh? For what? Men like us. In the pursuit of science, we sometimes make terrible mistakes. Lose sight of our mission to help people. But now I can help someone with my research. Now I can atone. Hm. I'm not a scientist. Uh, wait, wait, wait! Uh, come on, dude. I'm useless. I'm chicken. We're not friends. I can count the number of times you and I have hung out on one hand. Less than one hand. I didn't even know you in the old life. Fine, fine. <laughs> but listen. Mm. Huh? No way! 
way. It's true. The whole thing was his idea. Huh? No stinking way. He wants to atone too. But he is one of the chosen, so his hands are tied. Hence my actions on his behalf. Hence my need for you to act on my behalf should all go awry. As you said, we are far from friends. No one would ever suspect you. Hmm. So I'm not doing any fighting. Correct. And more importantly, no bench warming. Hmm. Ha! Yeah, baby! Sign me up! Yes! Um. Demix time! I've had it with this stupid treasure hunt. Every box we've found has been nothing but a bust. I agree. Our search ends today. What a hunt, huh? You cannot find the unfindable. The box does not exist. I knew they was taking us for a ride. Silence, imbecile. I mean the box does not exist now. Is that some kind of riddle? Just where are we supposed to be looking? Light and darkness are fated to clash. A Keyblade War is upon us. We need only wait for that destined moment. No matter the victors, the box will be revealed. That's it? But when's my big moment? You will have it soon enough. Once I possess the box, our real work can begin. Sora! Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. What was that? Keyblade wielders. From long ago. It's the light of the past. Oh. Huh? Look. Just send out the big bad. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> you! The organization's been using hearts. One Xehanort got to in the past and has influence over. So, that must be you from when Ansem had control of your heart. Yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> I'd say that was our finest hour. Wrong. My hour of weakness. You sure? How about we find out? A real test for the mark of mastery. What did you say? We gotta make sure you're not blundering your way toward a second failure. <laughs> <sighs> blundering? I'll have you know we failed with style, Chief. At least you admit it. Well, if you Guardians think you brought the goods, you'll have to prove it to the old guy one last time. Kid, take it away.
Hey, let's speed it up. Keep the line moving. Keyblade, it'd be different. Like you're actually worthy to use one? Oh. I am worthy. <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> the old coot promised to bequeath me his. Why else do you think I would ever put up with all his nonsense? It'd be wasted on you. <laughs> As if. <clears throat> uh, what? Finally, back where it belongs. Did you summon us back? Yep. Is that you, Lucio? You look different. I haven't heard that name in a long while. These days they call me Zigbar, but hey, whatever suits you. Is it really you? Yeah, but some time ago I had to cast my old form away. 
Been through plenty more semblances since. But it's still me underneath it all. What happened? Why are we here? You tell me! I had a role to play. And after all these years, it's done. What role? Safa didn't make it after all. Meaning what? I told her, clear as day, what it is I had to do. And is that why you decided to exclude her? As if. Ava had her own mission, and she carried it out. I've heard enough! Lushu, what was your role? I hope you like long stories. <laughs> <laughs>